Oh, you see them? Me too. I see them. Stop. What is it? Are those kids? Yep, there's a kid on a board. Ooh, he's gonna get your butt. <laughs> Hi. No, that's me that's gonna get your butt. Yeah, good boy. Oh no, I'm making him a little more amped up. Come here, let's go left. You wanna come up? Can you see him and the dog? Blue, up. Oh yeah. Stop. Kids on the bike. Great distraction. Oh, it's not gonna work. Tough. I know. Yeah. See, every time I touch, he goes forward, right? Good. One of his least favorites is a white dog. Come on. Blue. That's blue. Yeah. He's a pit bull. Watch his head. See how he has to move? Good boy. See how he seeks? Recognizes? Good boy. The other dog doesn't recognize him. But see how blue's looking to the left to the silver truck? By those stairs where the other dog is at. Are you ready? Blue. Stop. This way. Come on. Let's go. So I walked in front of him to for a distraction. Good boy. Stress isn't over. Come on. Good boy. Good leave it, Blue. I can reward. I would if I had treats. Come on. Blue. Out. Oh, careful. Thank you. Let's go. Good boy. You want to go potty? Good job. Good job. See how, see how he's, his intensity? Come on. This way. Thank you. So now he's hyped. He's alert. His senses are heightened, right? Good job. Now we're going to de-stress. Good boy. Yeah? Good boy. I see him. Stop. We're not going. No, we're not. Let's go left. Thank you. See, now he prances a little bit more as I step on a rock. Sorry, I stepped on a rock. So see how he's, see his intensity now? Oops, I dropped the leash. Leave the bee alone, please. Let's go get your stick. Where's your stick? Yeah, that thing. That thing right there. That thing right there. So now we play off to de-stress. Give it to me. And he see how he's actually being more engaging, a little bit more rough. He's gonna be vocal about it as well. Yep. Now he's waiting for me to make an action. Leave the bee alone, please. So now we play rough with a toy because he's gonna be rough. Give it to me. Give me that toy. Give me that toy. Give me that toy. This is de stress. This is why I use a toy as well. Come what? What? See, now he's gonna show me ways he wants to appropriately play. Give it to me. Give it to me. Good boy. Okay, slow down. Good boy. So he wants to chew on it now. Good boy. So I give him that. Good boy. Cuddle. Thank you. And that was from like, what? 50 yard distance? All this going on. This helps him de-stress and wants to stay social. Do this for a few more minutes with this interaction and engaging. Oh, you don't want it? You don't want it? Yeah, you don't want it? All right, let's go get some water. You want water? I see him. You see the kid? 
Do you see the kid? Good boy. Thank you. Now we're getting more cu cuddles. See? It went from a antisocial play to a play. And the shake off. Woohoo! No, not this. Get the stick. Now he wants to play. Now you want to play and engage. You want your stick? Yeah, good boy. This is when you let them be as rough as they want. Oh, I got smacked in the head. Oh, you fell down. I got smacked in the head with a stick. That's what you get. This is the frustrations. Hold on, stop. Good boy. You're making your mouth bleed. The disadvantage of this, letting him chew on it. Oh, fog's coming in. Are you better? Good boy. Yeah, you're getting it stuck in your mouth. Thank you. Now watch how all this changes. Watch how all the body language changes. All right, you ready to go load up? Let's go get some water. Because of all this expent energy from being excited, come on, let's go get some water. See how he actually wants to be a little bit calmer? And for Blue, that's saying a lot. Where'd you go? You're stuck behind me. Oh, because the leash is on your back leg. Here, get some water. You're okay. We're not loading up. The distractions are still there. Blue, get some water, please. But because we have spent energy, thank you. Good boy. Go ahead, get some water. I don't want it. I don't want it. I don't want it. Here, get some water. Get some water. Get some water. Yeah, you can. Here, how about this, Blue? <laughs> You're such a dodo head. Get some water. Here, I'll hold it. Give me hold it. I hear him. Here, let's go load up. Let's go get Bell. Still takes the brain a little bit of time to realize what you need. He's going to be calmer. Good boy, I hear him. I got gotcha. you. Oh, wet hands and dog hair is not fun. Thank you. Tail was wagging. Acknowledgement for me. I see him. Good boy. See how we can turn away a little bit differently? Yeah. So we're letting him calm down a little bit more. Is it a bug? <coughs> Excuse me. Good boy. Stay, please. They're hanging out their dog. Their dog is on a leash. Their dog's being doing nothing. I just need to get my drink from my tire. Thank you, Blue. You want to cuddle? Yeah? Okay. Thank you. Here, you want this? You want this one? There you go. We spent a lot of energy doing this. Oh, it's right here. There you go. Good boy. See how he's not showing interest. He's aware of the kids playing that came up to our left. He's assessed the situation. We work through it. Conversation isn't over yet. Because I think the dog is actually coming over. So what I'm going to do, hold the leash there. Just hold it a little bit tighter. Thank you. Because we've spent a lot of energy, we can get a lot more reactivity. I saw Dad walking up to my left somewhere. I don't see him at the moment under the ambulance or anything. So he probably went up the stairs to take his dog out. Oh no, he's riding the bike. 
and his dog's actually chasing him. Stay. He's riding his kid's bike and the dog's riding with him. So yep, he has that dog with him. No bees, please. You can't have the bees. I don't want you charging bees. I don't want you charging bees. So we got the care. Watch what happens next. This is why I'm not ending the videos because it's not done. The conversation has not stopped. Oh, right there. <laughs> oh, right there. Oh, scratch it, scratch it. Oh, yeah. Now he's really accepting the attention. Oh, okay, I'll stay away from the itchy spot, though. Yeah, what about the butt? Yeah. Now he's going to want to play. Ready? Are you going to get the bee? Is that bugs? Ew, blue. Leave it, please. What was that? <laughs> what was that? Yeah. See, now he's more social. More interested in his environment. Being curious about his environment, not focused on his environment. Good boy. Blue, let's go find your stick. Oh, wait, you found the ball? Good boy. You found something else that you want? And the bee? Oh, you missed. You almost got stung. It's gone. Blue, leave it, please. Good, leave it. Go get your ball. Where'd your ball go? I found it. I found it. Aha, ready? Catch. Oh, good job. See how he's not as intense. Oh, sorry. And we're leading away. He's not as intense. I'm playing with it. Escaping with it, yes. Slow down. Where are you taking me? All this is very, very important after a stimulating or stressful situation i have to watch my time 13 minutes about 20 minutes my video cuts out no more bees please oh there was a dog up the hill wait what are you looking at oh yep there's a bee right there you can't have it thank you good leave it yeah good leave it you can have it do you want me to have it oh i got it Put it on your head. Put it on your head. What do you mean now? There you go. All right. This is Scott with effective dog behavior. Come on, Blue. Let's go see Belle. Let's go get Belle. I don't want to. But I do want to get back to the ambulance because I can actually see and not be stuck in one situation. I do not like having my back turned to something. Good boy. Come on. Let's go. Up. Leave it. Yeah, you wanted that bee. Come on. Thank you. Leave it alone. There's more. I know. I don't want to. But see how he's avoiding all that other stuff? This is positive communication. Good. Stay. The kids are still playing, but he's trying to stay out of the stress. Thank you, Blue. But he's avoiding all that, and he's redirecting onto this. Yeah, good boy. What if I take it? Come on. Let's go to bed. Come on. Ow, I fell over a rock again. So back to a triggering location. Come on. Come on. Blue, let's go see Belle. You don't want to load up? You don't want to go bed? You don't want to cuddle? <laughs> yeah. You want the ball? You want to play with the ball? We can have it in bed. Come on. You can have it in bed. I don't want to. Come here. He's going to avoid it. Thank you, Blue. You're good. Come here. Thank you. Come here. Thank you. All right. I do got to bring Belle out. I think I saw the uh, blue stop. 
He wants to stay outside. I have no problem with staying outside. I really don't. But notice we're back into a triggering situation. Yeah. And I stand next. Good boy. He goes back to what he feels comfortable chewing on and leaving actually. And see, he actually put himself behind me in a way. That's extremely important. Thank you. Even I say knows the kids are there. Good boy. So we're gonna end this after they leave. Or are they? There's that kid again. And dad's racing. Beautiful. But the dog's gone, so. This is Scott with effective dog behavior. Discussing what actually goes on to help your dog not focus on the stressor so much and what ways they're gonna tell you how many different ways did Blue tell me he did not want to, one, load up, two, he felt safer doing this, being back and away with the trigger going on.